California is bracing for another powerful storm that's expected to bring more heavy rains and mountain snow. CNN meteorologist Allison Tinchar has been tracking all of this. She's been very busy today. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the storms now out west and the impact on uh, this uh, record amount of snowpack on the Sierras. Yeah, it's been a very busy winter. It's like the, the winter that just doesn't end. Um, so let's take a look at what we've got. Look at this video behind me. You've got the snow pack that's uh, as high as one and even two story buildings here. It's not only on the trees, it's on the roadways. And this video specifically is from about a month ago. When you think of all of the low pressure systems and even the atmospheric rivers, we've had roughly a dozen atmospheric river events just this winter season alone. So again, it's a lot of snow, an intense amount of snow, but the Sierras are not all equal, and that's the thing you have to keep in mind. It's broken down into three separate regions, so let's talk about those three areas, okay? It's broken up into the northern, the central, and the southern. The southern, interestingly enough, is the area with the highest amount of snow. You're talking 283% of their normal snow water equivalent. Basically, what that is, is it takes into account not only the snowpack on the ground, but if you were to melt it down, what's that water equivalent? But now now let's take it into perspective and compare this year to other years. When we talk about this year specifically, it's been very impressive. 2023 for the entire state of California, you're talking 227% of that snow water equivalent. Look at the last couple of years though. We haven't even gotten to normal, let alone what this year's number has been. And one thing to note, and especially when we talk about all this snow, is how much that's really improved the drought across the state of California. So here Here's a look at December 6th, just not that long ago. Look at all that red color, the extreme and the exceptional drought there. Now fast forward to just a few days ago, no part of California has any extreme or exceptional drought anymore. A lot of that, yes, in thanks to the snowpack, but also the rain that has fallen too, especially the coastal regions. So it's helped the reservoirs, it's helped build up that snowpack, and now we're about to add even more on top of it. We have another system that's set to arrive starting late Monday, and then it will continue to push in on Tuesday and Wednesday of this week. Now, it's not just impacting California. We do need to emphasize this will also hit Oregon and Washington with a pretty intense amount of rain and snow. For the coastal regions, specifically for Northern California, you're talking about two to four inches of additional rainfall on top of what they've already seen. And then when we talk about snow, especially for the Sierras, now we're going to be measuring that Amara and Victor in feet, at least one to three three feet of additional snowpack on top of all that snow you already saw on the ground. Never mind all that snow and rain. I mean, that graphic was so cool. I mean, seeing California go onto the ground there and you didn't yeah. step on California, that looks pretty cool. Shout out to Haley Brink, your producer yeah. who got that done. But yeah, the, the snow and rain coming, <laughs> they don't need it all at once, but it is easing the no. drought. Allison, thank you.